Giants fan, another episode of G1, G3. Very excited today, Stefan Conagola. You're wearing this beautiful orange vest. What is going on? It does, it's an orange as well. So it goes with our colours. This weekend, we were at Star Trek over in Canberra against the Bulldogs for the Building Australia Cup game. Are you excited? Mate, about I'm that pumped. I bought myself a work hat. We got got your a, work we've hat. even got our names on top. No, we're, we're, I'm going to call us 21st century tradies. Yeah. Being a private school boy, have you ever done like any any hard? I once like I once saw a plumber come into my house and do something. Yeah. Um, that's about as close as I've got, unfortunately. Cogs obviously from Swanee districts out in Perth. Yep. You wouldn't have gotten near one either. Nah, but what are we gonna do today? <laughs> today we're gonna get around all the boys who uh, have got a little bit of uh, they've dabbled in it without their t through the tradies. Anyone that's involved in building Australia today, so I found a tradie. The youngest player on our list, Cogs, I found. He plumber, he's doing a plumber apprenticeship just before he got uh, drafted to, uh, to uh, Pran and then he went to Richmond, he's, he's done everything. Kevin Sheedy, Sheedy's coming in. Hello guys, good to be off the building site talk near Little Diggers. Obviously we've got building this Australia game this weekend and you're, you're an old plumber back in the day, obviously bowled beautiful leg spinners as well. Knock off the old, I'm yep. start that stuff. It's a few questions that I think you'd know with your experience in the tradies. How many people did it take to build the Sydney Opera House? in 1959. Well, look, it, um, it never got built in 1959. Oh. It got built over many years. Oh. So they don't get like that. Now, it took thousands, absolutely thousands. If we had to put a number on that, how yeah. many would be? How many um, I would have thought sort of probably most likely sort of eight to 10,000. So over, over the years, rolled in and rolled out. Oh, perfect. Yeah. The answer is more than 9,000 cogs. Yeah, it is, so if you... If yeah. it's, if you had no eight. idea you... Could, no, no, no. No, you guys come in and you try and make us little old diggers from the building sites, you just take the mickey out of us, don't you? But we know. No, no. Hainsy, good to have you. If anyone out there, Giants fans, don't know, the great Nick Haynes, yes, he's a blonde bombshell from Frankston. Yes, Frankston. Before he came up, he got drafted as a 19-year-old, so some would say he cheated the draft system. However, before you got up here, Hainsy, you did one year out of school. Yep. What did you get up to? Uh, I completed year 12, so I was good for um, Frank's and the lad. 12? And, um, 12 or 12? 12. 12, yeah. So, anyway, moving on. What did you do once you finished school? Um, and then I became an uh, electrician. You know, we, got, we watch all these TV shows where it's like, do I cut the red? Do I cut the blue wire? We don't know. But an electrician should know. Is that easy for you, Nick? Um, well, I'm colorblind, but... <laughs> but um, the, the colourblind test, uh, they took it out a couple of years ago, so I snuck in there. Yeah, like. Speaking of plumbing as well, uh, Phil, we had a little incident with our dishwasher at home. So Tantra helping, gives it the old, when I was 17, I was a plumber for a couple of weeks. Oh, really? Comes over 10 minutes, and it's fixed. We're talking about plumbing, Cogs. Cogs. So Tantra. Why don't we, uh, he didn't. Cogs, this week, we've got the uh, Skoda Simply Clever moment for this week. It's not Nick Haynes kicking a drop punt. It's not that. Do you know what it is this week? It's Will Hosking out know, twice in a row. Let's have a look. Skoda, simply clever. That's a very oh, dangerous sneaky. kick. Go! And he's got the whole length of the ground. This is your goal, Lenny. <laughs> Oscarelli, you talked about him before the match. Keep he's running. had three. He's going to have four. You don't have to run that fast, <laughs> but it was very exciting. Skoda, simply clever. Phil, another excellent moment by Will. As you said, two in a row, but. I reckon if you look at it, there's 80 metres that he's run. Divide that by four bounces, that's 20 metres. That's good maths for you. But are you only allowed to have 15 metres before you can bounce? Yeah, it's a really confusing concept here. Obviously, AFL might have to look into that. Maybe re revoke that goal. Because I tell you what, we're also starting to really dominate the Skoda Simply Clever moment. It's, yeah. uh, it's actually a concern. But luckily, the big Stefan Conagola, he's back this week. So it's about time you dish up a Skoda Simply Clever moment, mate. Maybe a nice spoil. That'll get on the uh, on the uh, highlight reel. Well, I had fun playing with you last week, but I've just given you the one week and I'll be back in this week. It's a bit sad when uh, a young pup like you can just go straight past me. Anyway. See you later. I'm a busy man. Jeez, I've see got to go back to the building site. <laughs> Full of jokes. What a man. Congratulations on this weekend's match. Obviously, you're playing. But more importantly, you're representing Frankston TAFE. Um, and also yourself as a tradie. So, Nick, good job, good luck, and get tweeting. That's it. Done, another episode, just like that. It goes too quick. It does, doesn't it? Obviously, uh, first and foremost, Stefan, to you and your side at Star Trek Oval, get down there for our Giants fans. We implore you to get around the great man. He's back, and we'll be wearing the long sleeve Guernsey, but 
more importantly, the 22 boys need your support. You know, Western Bulldogs are going to be a challenging side, but hopefully we can get the result we want. So Giants fans in Canberra, even the city drive down, wear your orange. Maybe not as plural as this, but it's building Australia Day, so we'll let it go. But Twitter, yep. Facebook, email, Instagram, anything. Keep keep the tight rider. Exactly. Phil's still struggling with followers on Instagram and Twitter, but to all those people that have helped build Australia out there, Phil, it's a big thank you to you, and uh, hopefully we can repay them yeah. with the result this weekend with a win. Right, Kurt, I'll use the result a lot this time, but anyway, go Giants.